Hello, YouTubers, musicians, doesn't matter. Today, I'd like to discuss a topic that is still pretty debated among younger musicians, and that is, are tubas underappreciated? Now, I mean, it's pretty obvious already that I play the tuba, so I don't think it's under, I don't think it's, um, appreciated enough. I mean, I guess you could say that um, a lot of composers are just writing tubas in the way they think that they're meant to be played. You know, bass line, harmony, bass line, not harmony. And those are needed, and the tuba does that very, very well. And I love it when it sounds great. But the problem I think many people have is not with that. Because the tubas actually do get the melody more often than you think. It's more with people dismissing the tuba not composers just normal people saying that this is the slow instrument and i yeah that actually makes me really really mad whenever i hear that because it it it's just shows a complete lack of respect for them as musicians now if they're a bad tuba player that's different but you have to understand that a, gr a great tuba can play t things just as fast as, say, a clarinet. And I'm not saying a clarinet is a bad instrument. No instruments are, like, useless at all. Including the tuba here. I mean, a lot of people think that the, that the, tu the stereotypical tuba is all, like... That's true. And those parts are needed sometimes, though. But the tuba can play fast. And it's not that people who play the tuba are inferior musicians. It's more that middle school composers, young people who are just learning their instrument, they tend to follow the same pattern, the music that middle school middle schools play and junior high schools. And that pattern is um, put the low instruments on the bass line, and um, give the melody to the top instruments. Now, I'm in um, my leading band, and I'm first chair tuba for that. And um, me and my, uh, me and the second chair tuba, we see quite a bit of tuba melodies these days because we're in eighth grade. But if you were, if you're in like sixth grade, because in fifth grade, really everybody plays the same thing. In sixth grade, just if you're playing the tuba then. You're going to see a lot of slow rhythms. Not too many eighth notes in there. At least that's what I at least that's what I saw the tuba was playing. I I played baritone, euphonium in 6th grade. But the tuba was always where what I liked the most. Now, I like to play for you a little bit of my solo that I'm going to be performing for a for a festival next month and you'll see that it's not it's not slow really at all. You see, it's just a very big um, misconception that tubas are always so slow and they're not as good musicians. That's not true. The same way some people think of, um, I'm trying to think, like percussion is useless because you already got the low sounds playing the bass line, why do you need percussion? Everything, every instrument is useful. And I'm honestly tired of hearing this. So, are tubas underappreciated? Yes. Do they deserve that? Absolutely not. Nor does any other instrument in the ensemble. We all play a part. Well, Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll try to post maybe a few more videos before um, before 2014 here. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.